Let's dive into a story of how two product designers launched their first early stage startup with Flutterflow. Introducing Gifted, an app to help you find the perfect gift for your loved ones without ruining the surprise. In this video, you'll hear from the founders, see a full app demo, and get a sneak peek into the Flutterflow project with the builder. Hey, I'm David. I'm one of the founders of Gifted. Gifted is an early stage startup uh, that's reimagining the gifting experience through an AI persona that we call Sherlock, uh, which anonymously chats with your friends about their wishes and then shares the conversation transcript uh, with you. Um, so to make this concrete, you download Gifted as a user, import your contacts um, or the contacts that you want to gift, um, and then request Sherlock to reach out to them through iMessage or WhatsApp. And then Sherlock will send a message to them like, Hey, David, one of your friends from insert school company name uh, wants to give you something for your birthday coming up in a few days. Um, do you mind sharing any of your recent hobbies, interests or products that you've been eyeing lately? And then your friend will have a conversation with Sherlock, uh, which you can follow live uh, from the app. Um, and so the magic of this is that it gives you direct signal about what your friends want. Um, and your friends don't need to know that this request is coming from you. So you keep the anonymity uh, and they don't need to be on the app uh, or have to leave their favorite messaging app. Um, so the reason that we're building Gifted is that we've experienced uh, gift anxiety ourselves. We've received uh, crappy impersonal or duplicate gifts in the past. And we believe that there's uh, a better way to make gifting less wasteful uh, while keeping the fun and the surprise. And so our vision with Gifted is that it becomes an all-in-one social gifting app that lets you, um, you know, if your friend is having a bad day on the other side of the world, that you can send a box of chocolates to their address without having to worry about how to get it to them. If you're curious to try, you can download uh, Gifted on the app or Play Store today for free. Um, and here's a quick demo of Gifted in action. So as a user on the app, um, this is the home screen where I land. Uh, one of the things that I might want to do is send a Sherlock to someone um, to find out what they want uh, without revealing who it's coming from to keep the surprise. So I'll head over to the Sherlock page and then I'll press on start new investigation. And here I can select any of my uh, phone contacts or search for any of my friends on the app, um, both work. In this case, I'm gonna select um, Syrian and I'm gonna now uh, personalize the investigation, right? Because Syrian is gonna get a message uh, from Sherlock on whatever platform I choose, either WhatsApp or iMessage. And I wanna add as much information as I can to make this first message trustworthy so that Syrian actually engages in the conversation. So I can select any language. In this case, I wanna keep it at English. Um, now, this is for a secret Santa that is being organized, for instance, at uh, our tennis club, our mutual tennis club, um, which is happening in a few days from now. And That's I'm actually true. Say, I have a secret sense oh, 15. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to say uh, we're friends and we know each other from a tennis club. And then I'm going to add some extra instructions. I'm going to say ask Syrian if he needs any new tennis gear. But I can put anything in here. Uh, I can add like some more personal information like the name of his dog or I could put in my budget. Anything that could help Sherlock make the first message more personalized or steer it during the conversation. And now I'm going to press on preview Sherlock and this is going to show me the message that Sherlock is going to send to Syrian. So standard is a bit of a fixed message. It's not going to be as trustworthy as if I choose creative which is going to be way more freeform and it's really going to use all of the information that uh, I've given it. So I can also just uh, try to generate the message again and this might give me a very different uh, answer like here uh, you know they're thinking you might be eyeing some new tennis gear but you know if I keep trying this it might at some point also share you know that this is for someone from the tennis club etc so yeah I'm just gonna send Sherlock yeah as you can see so now I received Sherlock and it's uh, via WhatsApp as they've um, selected so now I've received this message and this is the same message that David saw in um, Gifted in a preview. Um, so I have three options. I can let, say let's go and then start the investigation. I also can decline. Um, and then David can see that I declined it. Um, or I can ask for my info. But in this case, we'll just start the investigation. And David doesn't have to do anything anymore at this point. Sherlock will chat automatically with me and find out any gift suggestions. So 
There we go. Um, currently have a Wilson record, but it's getting a bit old. And at the same time, David can like open the investigation. Um, yeah, and view in real time the messages that are sent. Yeah. So uh, I can do this. I can also pause the investigation at any point. And if Sherlock is not asking the right questions, which in this case it is, um, but say it isn't asking for a specific question that I have, or I just want to have a little bit of fun, <laughs> I can just inject a little message like, hey, dude. Uh, and then uh, this, will be, um, this will be sent directly to Syrian, as you will see here, with a little yep. indicator. Um, yep that this is an injected message so that the receiver always knows um, what is an injected message and what is a message that is coming from Sherlock. Um, yeah, and aside from seeing the conversation, I can also head over to the summary uh, page and then I can see a summary of the conversation and I can also see some gift suggestions. So this generates uh, a gift um, with a description. I'll try another one. And if I try another one, like, this um, in this case it's going to be uh, giving me some product recommendations uh, right now it's not like the best product recommendation because it was a bit too specific um, but I can just search for something in here um, like Wilson racket and maybe find some products in here um, but yeah at, at this point I can then add this to uh, Syrian's wish list and now Every friend of Syrian on Gifted can see this gift um, appearing. So, yeah, that's uh, an overview of the core features of Gifted at the moment, and I hope that was that was clear. Hey guys, my name is Syrian, and I'm the product lead and co-founder of Gifted. Today, I'm gonna give you a little tour of our Floodflow project and show you some of the Floodflow features we used to build Gifted. Um, so, our little journey begins in the backend part of Floodflow. Um, so we use Firestore for our uh, database. So we've had set all the data schemas up in here. Um, a lot of data types. Um, so it's very reliable and easy to use in Flutterflow and pass on the data through pages and components. Um, so more advanced feature of Flutterflow, for, for example, use the API calls. Um, so we use these for our products, um, fetching products from our product catalog. And then we also use our own gifted API endpoint, which you can see over here, um, for sending Sherlock and generating the launch message, as you could see in our demo. And we also have a custom Algodia API call group, um, which we use um, to use Algodia with some more facet filters, um, which, may, which we use for um, searching through users, friends, products, um, all that stuff. And then talking about like the layouts in Flutterflow, um, design plays a very big role in this. One important thing um, that I always want to achieve when building a page in Floodflow is that it needs to match my design one-to-one. -one. So as you can imagine, this um, brings up some challenges sometimes. Um, for example, a challenge in this was um, creating a smooth mass blur widget, which you can see when you scroll. It's in the app bar. It's this um, smooth backdrop blur widget, which is a custom widget I created in Floodflow using custom painters. Um, then there's also the background gradient that's this very subtle um, color um, at the top. So it's red on the wish list. It's blue on Sherlock. It's very small detail, but like all these small details together uh, really add up to the experience and make it feel a lot more refined. Add on to that, there are uh, a lot of animation on smaller elements, like for example, this button, which is, uh, if we go back to Flutterflow, um, it's just an action trigger very simple. There's also some more animation on, for example, this page or this bottom sheet, um, which is the uh, bottom sheet to add a gift. So the, this, um, we can, if we go to the simulator, it's this one. This is a carousel, actually. So it's a carousel with multiple pages, as you can see here. Um, and it has a, a on-page to change um, action. So it's at the visibility, which is like what this um, carousel controls visibility value to, um, um, yeah, depending on the current index. It's, there's also some other, some other cool tricks. So if I um, search for or add a gift with a specific query in here, in the background, um, it will query in Algodia, our product catalog, 
and if that contains any uh, matches um, it will show those in this little stack with images so it feels really kind of smart in a way um, and then you can quickly link a product from our catalog um, with some other nice little animations we also use like a lot of custom widgets for smaller things like for example fetching an image um, from an asset dynamically so this is just very simple custom widget um, where just um, the asset path is set from a parameter so we can fetch an emoji for your gift and then there uh, is the save area widget also a custom widget which is um, used throughout the app for example on um, it's very visible in the app bar and the nav bar so it's, it sits below and sits on top and um, what this results in is that we can have the blur continue um, under the status bar and all the way to the bottom of the screen so it feels like a real full screen and doesn't just use the uh, background color so those small things um, yeah lots of those little design details are in our app um, like rive animations we left those as well like on here there's a little rive animation um, can preview it and then a lot of conditionals and components to make everything reusable um, so for example the investigation card is a is a component the user card we use in a bunch of places is a component with a lot of parameters so we can really customize it depending on the situation and where we use it so lots of uh, those more advanced uh, flow flow features we use um, and all of these add up and make it possible for us to really create a consumer app all in Flutterflow for both platforms um, and in combination with like custom widgets we can pretty much build every, anything we want which is quite frankly like really amazing um, and then the fact that you can literally deploy it to the app stores with two clicks um, yeah it's great and uh, you can always export the code we use that a lot for uh, quickly testing it so we have a uh, use the CLI to fetch the code, then have a simulator running. We can just refresh it. We have the latest build running in less than a minute and in a simulator. So it's um, very reliable and accurate to what it will be on device. And we can fully debug it. So that rounds up our tour of our Flutterflow project. Um, we'd love to show you more, but there's no time for that, unfortunately. Um, I hope it inspired some of you um, and to show that it's possible to also build consumer apps with all the little design details in Flutterflow um, and to show that like pretty much anything you have in mind is possible with all the functionalities within Flutterflow. So thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you on Gifted.